Good morning, it's another Saturday morning and where is Dr. Nora off to? Well, I'm headed down to Brisbane in the Mater Education Centre to complete step three of my dermoscopy course. Now, what does that mean? Well, dermoscopy is a technique that you use to diagnose skin cancers or skin lesions in general practice. And this is a course that's held by the Australian Dermatology Society, so pretty big guys up there. It's a 12-week course that has been running since May through to September, and it's comprised of online e-learning, so lots of modules that I've completed, and also it had a virtual clinic as well, where the course facilitators posted virtual clinics or pictures of certain lesions, and we had to say, what those lesions were and how we'd manage them. We're coming to the end of the course now and I'm off to Brisbane to do the practical session and this is going to be actually quite fun so it's an eight hour all day practical session where the course facilitators are going to take us through how to do a proper skin examination, taking a history from the patient specifically for skin lesions and also taking us through how to use the dermoscope, how to suture, the so basic suturing and advanced suturing which is stitches in other words and also um, just wrapping up any loose ends. All right, so let's hope I can make it on time because that is my forte of being late. <laughs> Bye. This is like their St. George's Hospital. It's like the main hospital of Brisbane and Queensland. I got this for you instead. Oh. <laughs> So much fun getting your sutures done, different types of sutures we did, uh, mattress sutures, dermal sutures, subcuticular sutures, just the whole bunch and you feel like a real surgeon even though you're a GP so you get a bit of a, a hack right there. <laughs> and I have to say my sutures were pretty damn neat, even the facilitator was like, oh you did a really good job there, in like an Australian accent which I can't obviously copy, so I feel quite proud of myself. Just to compare the UK versus Australia. now. Australia has got a very high rate of cancers. Now in the UK, we don't have it as high as here, obviously because the sun is a massive factor. The one thing that GPs here are allowed to do compared to the UK is they're allowed to take out those skin cancers. So if, for example, I was a GP in the UK, I am not allowed by any means to touch a skin cancer in general practice. And if I do that knowingly, I could be put uh, liable to that and I could go through GMC proceedings and so on. Whereas here in Australia, you are encouraged as a general practitioner to find those skin cancers, to excise them and to treat them there and then. Now, I was speaking to a local Queenslander from Australia. Um, and she said, you know what, it's just practical. Every GP here has to know how to diagnose skin cancer. Otherwise, it will put a massive strain on the hospitals um, here in Australia because literally every other person has got a skin cancer of some sort. So going to one of these courses is really invaluable. It teaches you how to use a dermoscope, it teaches you how to recognize skin cancers, how to prevent things as well coming from the future. So all in all, it was a really nice course. I have to say it was quite thorough. We went through all the different excision types, all the different suture types, really good hands-on, got the ability to ask your trainers whenever you wanted to. And I guess the only thing that's left now to complete this course is the exam in two weeks, which is an online exam for two hours long, and you need to get a pass rate of 70%. But for now, it's been a long day, and I am gonna enjoy the beautiful sunset that Brisbane has to offer. I heard you call, you know. 